NASA just released the clearest image ever of 3i Atlas, and the entire scientific world is in shock. The photo captured by the James Webb Space Telescope and cross-verified by ESA's Mars Express shows details no one expected to see. The object's glowing core isn't behaving like a comet at all. Instead of scattering light randomly, it's pulsing, slow, deliberate, rhythmic, as if responding to something. Within minutes of NASA's release, the image spread across every major news network. Astronomers, researchers, and even casual sky watchers are calling it the most important cosmic discovery of the century. What has people frozen isn't just what the image shows, but what it suggests. Shy Atlas appears to be rotating with impossible stability, its spiral coma expanding in near-perfect symmetry. Data from both Earth and Mars confirm that it's releasing faint energy spikes near the 1420 megahertz hydrogen line, the same mysterious frequency where the legendary WOW signal was once detected. That single detail reignited a 50-year-old mystery, one that scientists thought was buried forever. Could this be a coincidence, or are we witnessing something that was meant to return? The timing, the alignment, the behavior, everything feels too precise to ignore. As images continue to come in, the world is holding its breath. Social media feeds are flooding with speculation, theories, and raw awe. Was 3i Atlas always a comet, or is it something far beyond that? a messenger, a vessel, or even a seed from another civilization. For the first time in history, telescopes across two worlds, Earth and Mars, are watching the same object from opposite sides of space. The question is no longer what 3i Atlas is. It's why now? Why, after half a century of silence, did something from the same region of the galaxy return, pulsing, glowing, and looking straight at us? For months, the world had followed 3i Atlas, the mysterious interstellar object racing through our solar system. Most of what we knew came from NASA. Their telescopes had first confirmed the object's strange speed and hyperbolic path, proof that it came from beyond our solar system. The James Webb Space Telescope analyzed its light spectrum, detecting traces of water vapor and carbon dioxide long before it ever neared the sun. NASA's early reports described it as unlike any comet or asteroid ever observed. Then all of a sudden the update stopped. On October 7, 2025, while NASA's data channels went dark, the European Space Agency stepped forward. ESA released the clearest photos ever captured of 3i Atlas, taken not by deep space telescopes, but by the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter and Mars Express, two probes orbiting Mars that had never been meant for this kind of observation. To capture the object, engineers pushed their instruments beyond design limits, adjusting software extending exposure times, and redirecting their communication systems to detect a target over 100,000 times dimmer than their usual focus. When the first image appeared, it stunned the control room. It showed a faint sphere of light surrounded by a misty halo that shimmered against the blackness of space. The object didn't reflect sunlight like a comet. It glowed softly as if something inside it was alive. ESA released the photo to the public within hours, describing it as an unexpected pattern of light behavior. At that same moment, NASA went completely silent. The high-rise camera aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, capable of the sharpest planetary imaging ever made, suddenly stopped transmitting data. No new updates appeared. No explanation was offered. The shutdown of the U.S. government was the reason given, but the timing raised eyebrows everywhere. To the public, it looked like two worlds colliding, ESA transparent and open, sharing every image, and NASA, silent and unreachable. One agency handed the mystery to the world, the other shut its doors. Even more curious was what NASA had last shown before going dark. Days earlier, the Perseverance rover had captured a faint streak across the Martian sky, believed to be 3 I Atlas during its approach. NASA confirmed the sighting, but never released the high-resolution version. It was said that high-rise could have captured the object with clarity unmatched by any other camera in the solar system. But when ESA's photos appeared, NASA's feed froze mid-update. FASA, meanwhile, invited the world in, publishing raw data and encouraging citizen scientists to process the images themselves. Yet hidden inside ESA's data was something no one could explain. The path of 3i Atlas wasn't random at all, and its alignment with the planets looked almost deliberate. When astronomers plotted the orbit of 3i Atlas, they expected chaos. An object arriving from another star system 
should have entered our solar neighborhood at a random angle. Instead, what they found left even the most experienced scientists speechless. The path of 3i Atlas was almost perfectly aligned with the ecliptic plane, the flat disk on which all the planets orbit the sun. Its tilt was only 4.89 degrees, a difference so small it had less than a 1% chance of happening by coincidence. No other interstellar object, not even Umwamua or Borisov, had ever traveled this way. That was only the beginning. As the data came in from multiple observatories, another pattern appeared. The object had passed near Mars, Venus and Jupiter, the only three planets positioned for ideal observation at that exact time. The timing was almost surgical. When Mars was at its nearest point for ESA's orbiters to observe, 3i Atlas swept by within 18.6 million miles. Weeks later, it approached Venus at the best viewing angle for Earth-based telescopes. By late October, Jupiter's massive gravity lined up perfectly to give a potential slingshot trajectory toward the Sun. To many, it looked like a cosmic coincidence. To others, it felt planned. The more scientists analyzed the trajectory, the more questions surfaced. If 3i Atlas had entered from deep interstellar space, how did it find a path so precisely matched to the solar system's geometry? And why did it cross the planetary plane at the exact moment our most advanced probes were able to see it? Simulations showed the odds were less than 1 in 10,000. From the moment the first detailed data arrived, the behavior of 3i Atlas began to challenge everything we thought we knew about comets. Scientists estimated its nucleus to be between approximately 320 meters and 5.6 kilometers across, large even for an interstellar visitor. Yet despite clearly shedding material, 3i Atlas hardly showed any of the wobble or thrust expected from outgassing. Its mass had to be immense, around 33 billion tons or more. Polarimetric data revealed extreme negative polarization, unlike any comet observed in our solar system, implying its dust or ice grains were shaped in an unknown way. Spectroscopic data showed abundant CO2 and water ice, even at great distance from the sun, and little iron where it should exist. It behaved more like a spacecraft than a snowball of ice and rock. Then came the strangest link of all, the WOW signal. When astronomers mapped 3.i Atlas's trajectory, they noticed it entered the solar system only nine degrees away from the source of the famous 1977 radio burst from Sagittarius. The object emitted faint fluctuations near 1420 mHz, the same hydrogen frequency where the signal had been detected. It wasn't a transmission, just subtle light variations, but enough to spark debate. Some suggested coincidence, others saw design, what if messages across the stars don't come as sound or code, but as objects, objects that travel, display anomalies, and carry meaning through motion? If 3i Atlas were such a message, its alignment and pulsing light could be the language.